Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I have been thinking a lot recently about lag tension at impact. It's something that I think is crucial to getting better at golf. And this is Be Better Golf. So what is lag tension at impact? Something that Birdie from DST put me on to. It's basically making impact before the shaft lines up with an extension of your left forearm, which is full extension. So we go a little further, that's full extension. So we want to make impact before we get the full extension. So that's just me hitting a tee. Looked all right there. So I've been looking around the PJ Tour for a swing that really shows this a lot. And this is the best example of it that I could see. This is Scott Stallings swing. He's won three times on the PJ Tour and a really nice guy. Here's Scott's swing without getting into any kind of analysis at all other than impact. So let's go to impact and this is just so much lag tension impact. It's really awesome and you can see the shaft is not leaning forward really at all. It's if anything leaning backwards a little bit. And here with the iron you can see both full extension and impact at the same time just a little bit after both of those. So I was so impressed by seeing those images that I contacted Scott and he wrote me back and I've uh, talked to Scott for a little bit now and asked him how he, if he ever worked on that position or how he got it. He did tell me that he played a ton of baseball growing up and he also said that there was a really good drill that I should try, which is this. So basically go up against a wall, like a wall there, make a slow motion downswing like this. So w just imagine that there's a wall behind Scott here. So to his away from the target side, see how he would not be touching that wall at all. So the same thing here, get a wall behind you away from the target side and make a slow motion downswing where you don't hit it. Scott saw this and said that the downswing part was fine, but I absolutely should not be doing a backswing like that move there where I'm tipping it up and pushing it away. He said that can be problematic. I went and did it again. So this time I'm really conscious of, he said, just start at the top and you really want to feel in slow motion. And he's a uh, really adamant about not hitting balls this way in slow motion. What does it feel like to, make your downswing in this manner here. So for me, I really had to feel that my uh, left hip was getting out of the way in order to square the face. So it, the transition felt like I'm accelerating my arms, like I've been trying to do, I'm accelerating my arms. And right there, that's when I started feeling, okay, if I, if I don't want this face to be wide open, I'm gonna have to start getting my left hip a lot more open. So it's something that you can see in video or whatever, but the feeling of it is gonna be much more beneficial. It's gonna actually convince you to do it or actually uh, give you a roadmap of what it's gonna feel like to do. Scott told me, he said, definitely do not hit balls like this. It's really just a feeling. I don't know if he was saying that because it'd be dangerous, but I, I think he was saying it maybe because it would be counterproductive. So I am working on this in slow motion in the transition on the way down. And maybe sometimes when I'm making my, after I've made my transition move, adding some speed just to clip that T. I definitely would say when you're practicing this, I would use a T or some kind of target on the ground. Otherwise you can, when I first was doing this, I noticed how far above the ground I was and I was getting a little disconnected from the actual target of where the ball would be. So I really like actually having something on the ground and that now I'm starting to, to hit it probably a little faster than I should. But if we look at impact from even hitting a tee out in the park, to doing this drill, we see a huge difference. These images are just a day apart. And when you add speed and you add the ball, that impact will not be 
nearly as far forward, but the idea is to keep working on it and keep working on it. And some of what you're doing in the back alley or in the park is gonna to start to bleed into your swing, and I really think it will. So I'm trying to be a little bit more disciplined and be slow motion all the way through and really feel it fantastic flexibility exercise as well. All right, now I wanna feel it at a little bit of speed. So I'm moving my tee up some to match it with a backswing and a downswing, making sure I have enough room. All right, so there's the backswing, nice and wide. And then the downswing, it's that same feeling as if there was a wall there. And then the rotation is the thing that really squares the face. You just do the arm move and then you don't rotate. You're not really gonna, you're gonna have a wide open face for me anyway. So going into a little bit more speed going through. And that's feeling, I mean, air swings usually feel good, but this is feeling really solid to me. So I'm really looking forward to what it's gonna produce on the range and I'll let you guys know. Of course though, because I can never let well enough alone, I had to try something a little bit wacky and this is it. So obviously wanting to marry the backswing to the downswing, you, if you're on my wavelength, you probably know what I'm gonna to try to do. All right there, I push the garage door button, make a backswing. Now I have to make a downswing that's not gonna hit the garage door. Ooh, and it worked like a dream. That was really good. So thinking I was onto something, I did it again and uh, made a backswing and feeling the downswing. And I hit my building, but didn't damage the driver. All right, trying to get the feeling again and uh, push the garage, thought about it for too long and then hit my garage. And uh, that was the end of that experiment. But this is the actual drill. You go to the top so just start from the top and make a slow motion swing down, really feeling that you would not hit that wall behind you. Huge thanks to Scott for giving that drill to us and good luck in the upcoming PGA Tour season. He's gonna be playing, I think his first tournament is gonna be in the desert at the Career Builder. So good luck, Scott. I know he's been working incredibly hard this off season. Thanks for watching everybody. Click the subscribe button. Let me know what you think. Try it out. See you soon.